So hello everybody, how are you today? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can actually change the column name using a parameter. So you allow your users to change the name of a column. There is a button, it's a big button, but I'll show you that too. Okay, so this is the Google Analytics template app that I did for you. Link down below if you want to get this report. And if you go to the parameters that were available for you to configure this app, it is there are two here at the bottom, which is goal one and goal two. Google Analytics allows you to configure goals. And I want, wanted you to be able to give it a name instead of it says goal one, goal two, in case you're sharing it with your marketing team. Okay, so it, it has a name that means something. So how do you do that? This is what we're going to do. We're going to go backstage on this report. And here on traffic sources, you will see that at the moment it just says goal two completion, goal one completion. This is the name that Google Analytics gives to the goals because they don't know either what the name of the goal is. Okay. So I wanted to change this to the actual name because you won't be able to edit this. I wanted you to be able to do it. So how do you do it? It's very, very simple. You go here, goal to completion, and then just write something new name and then goal one completion name two okay so that will generate the m code that you need now we remove the hard coded part and we write goal two which is the name of the parameter you have it here goal two and then this is goal one which is the name of the other parameter And you see purchases and memberships, you load it and you are good to go. Now you have, instead of goal one, goal two, you have the names that you gave it. There is a but, and unfortunately it's a big but. Here's the thing. If I put it in here, which I did in the beginning, I said, okay, let's put our memberships on the table in there. Uh, values. Where did it go? Uh, there. So now it is in here. Now watch this. If I go to edit queries, edit parameters, and I change that to new members, unfortunately, let's apply the changes. Come on, baby. This is going to crash because we, for some strange reason, Power BI uses the name, not an ID for that. So it just completely crashes. So you can't put it in the report, but you can allow them to change it and use it, you know, because you can create your own version of this report. I wanted to have the names anyhow. So I hope this tip was useful and I will see you again on the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.